country. There's a lot of people that you're getting on the bus with or getting in the office with or even in the store. And, and I've never seen in my life so many nasty people. I ain't got to say that. I know I'm right. People sneeze. In there, they don't cover their mouth when they cough. And then, they, especially in the store, uh, you see them in your aisle and they pick up something after they sneeze. You know, it's like, oh, my goodness. Um, I, I, I was in Ralph's, but I guess I'm a busy food for less now. I don't want to touch none of my island. What do you do for me? So, you know, uh, 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 the truth, anyhow, y'all, you know, act like it, it don't bother you. It bothers me. I ain't gonna lie. You know, uh, I, I understand better now how our, our real president and we just had President Obama. If you ever noticed, when he went upstairs and he went up to Air Force One, he never went up on the rail holding it like 46 minus one. He, he trotted on up those steps. I said, boy, my president's in good shape. Yeah, he's in good shape, but he didn't want you don't know how evil people are. That's right. You put stuff on, 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 on this stuff. You know, when you go to work and sit at your desk, you know, uh, take have you a little thing of Clorox wipes. Amen. Amen. And then people are so germophobic. Yeah, because you might be the germ. Yeah. You don't have to tell me. You know what I'm talking about, man. That, that people always want to come on your, at your desk and lean over. And touch stuff and it don't belong to them. And you look at them like, really? Yeah. Really? You, you really touching my stuff? And then they say, oh, you knew you, what you were doing when you got there. So, you know, uh, we have to be careful. The Bible says the wise and servants and officers of God. You have to watch and pray. Make sure that you are careful, uh, especially in this season with this uh, stuff going around. Be very, uh, very careful. Uh, Father, in Jesus' name, we ask that you touch Brother Mark Hill, yes. even right now, if he's in a hospital room, we ask that you go down each corridor, yes. touch Father, his head and the sole of his feet. Yes. You made him, you know all about him. Yes. And Lord, while he's laying there, speak to his mind. Yes. Talk to him clearly that he may be obedient and let him hear what thus said the Lord. Pray for Brother Josh today. Ask that you would touch in the name of Jesus. Sister Miriam, Lord, let the healing continue. Let her rest, not get in a hurry, but be patient as you are healing her body right now. For those things that we don't have, you know each one, name by name, we know every situation. We pray right now that you would touch them even so now. In the name of Jesus, in this season, Lord. Though it's a holiday, it's time that the people are depressed and suicide rates are high. People are feeling hopeless, helpless. We know because of this season, though it might not be the actual date of your birth, but we do celebrate and acknowledge that you are the Savior of the world. Bless us and we will be blessed. All this we do give to you. In the name of the Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. All right, this is the time, the season of giving. Giving, which is giving is part of our Christian living. We want to make sure we don't leave it all in the mall. Uh oh. Yes, it is here. Too late. <laughs> yeah, we can leave it all in the mall and put it all on Amazon. Amen. <laughs> they, they have so many. They have so many uh, uh, convenience 
Jesus, let me call it that way. Uh, they have an app called Wish, uh, uh, Zoom, and all this kind of stuff. Where
and it's small. It's not large at all. Yeah. Um, I have a praise as I do every Sunday. Yeah. I have a yeah. special praise this Sunday. Yeah. Because for a year, I've been looking for a place um, here in California. Yeah. I'm an export. Yeah. I'm, and y'all know, if you're from California, you call us exports if we ain't from here. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a table back. I accept it gladly. Yeah. But for a year, I was looking for a place since January of last year. Yeah. And every place I was going, they was denying, denying, denying. Yeah. And they said it was because of my credit. And I said, well, my credit ain't that bad. I uh -huh. just got an old car loan from 2013. Yeah. Uh, and I've had three or four cars since then. Yeah. That was on my credit. Yeah. Paid off. Yeah. I said, I got three student loans. Yeah. And wow. every last one of them are not even more than $2,000. Yeah. 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 Three student loans, a car loan. Yeah. Then I got one, uh, one check cash loan. Yeah. And y'all know. Uh, 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 $200. Yeah, now yeah. you know when you're young, you go get them, them yeah, loans, you don't yeah, get them kids. Yeah. So I got that, and the guys can come up with me. As I started looking for a place, it caught up with me. And then I said, Lord, I'm working through this temp agency, which is cool. You know, I was making decent money. Yeah. And I was going to work as well. As often as they called, they told yeah. me, asked me to stay, I stayed. And now I'm like, well, still, even if I do that, right now I use about $1,600, $1,800 for a one bedroom. I can't even afford that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My car note and my insurance. Yeah. Um, so going through all these miles for a whole year, all the way up till December of this year. Amen. I went and I talked to a couple of places. I applied for a five-bedroom, three-bath townhouse. Mm -hmm. And then the next day I applied for a two-bedroom, two-bathroom townhouse. And uh, the lady at the five-bedroom, she's like, well, we want to get to somebody that more so needs the family that really, really needs it. Come find out there was a tax credit property, so the rent there was only like 19 something for a five bedroom, three bedroom house. Okay, fine. So, of course, we played, we were trying to play with the system, put a couple nephews on, on there, so we never would qualify. <laughs> yes, we qualify. And I asked, her, I said, well, what, what? I know, I didn't want to be rude, so I said, I know we're on the east side of LA. Tell me about the area. She's like, well, you are, this is the blood area. But if you stay inside, then you don't have no problems. So if you mention my name, I can earn my respect around here. So they won't bother you. I said, okay. I said, look, I don't want to stay over here. But it's a five bedroom, three, three bath. But the two bedroom, two bath, just a little bit further, much nicer, upgraded. And uh, it was in a much safer area in game. So I said, Lord, I want this five bedroom, three bath, and I'm gonna, but I don't want to stay in the hood. The Lord worked where I, when I, the day I applied for the two bedroom, two bath, for the 6 p.m. Like she called me the next morning with my approval. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the rough year, many don't know that this year I had an issue um, with family out here that I had moved with. And uh, to the point of the man that raised my uh, uncle, it was my uncle's foster dad, he's been raised by him from birth. We had an issue with his nurses and they did some really, really shady things to me and my uncle who had been taking care of him for the last two, almost three years to the point they went and got restraining orders against us and lied on a restraining order in court before the judge. And when we went to court, the judge realized the lie that they had. They had that I was 6'4", 190 pounds, and that I was staying in the house wow. for two years. And he didn't know me. And when the judge asked him who was I, he told him, he said, well, you said in this paperwork that you didn't know him and that he was 6'4 and 190 pounds. I know I don't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, I'll have to say, the Lord has been good. He's been faithful. Yeah. 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 And that's why we, when, it, when we thought about that song, that wasn't even on the list to sing today. Yeah. I said, let's just go with it. I thought about the blessing that he's done. It took 12 wow. months, wow. but it was time for me. Yeah. 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 His time. Yeah. And with his timing, the yeah. Lord the the God has blessed me financially to where I can look forward to that and more. Yeah. I guarantee you, he will do the same thing for you. Testimony, that's a testament of what God can do. Yeah, yeah. That can discriminate on yeah. 
your age and what your situation is. Right. Always looking for somebody is to be faithful. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. And to all of my brothers and sisters in Christ that are here this morning, visitors, friends, and neighbors, thank you, Bishop, for being here this morning. Time is moving. We got a lot of to do. We got a lot to cover in a short period of time. So uh, don't be mad if uh, you don't get a, a full course meal if I give you a sandwich this morning. Sometimes sandwiches are good enough. It all depends on how you pack the meat up in there. All right. Jesus is the center of my joy. Thank God for his blessings. Uh, today, uh, for just a few moments in the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter number two. I know that this is a traditional time because Wednesday is the celebration of the birth of Christ. Amen. Uh, but I want to look at things from a little different perspective, if you don't mind. Amen. All right, Doc. Matthew, chapter number two. You know, not hard to find in your Bible because Matthew is the first of the four Gospels. Matthew was an interesting guy because Matthew starts out with the complete total genealogy of Christ. That's what he did. Uh, but I have a little, uh, a little thing with Brother Matthew because uh, in that first chapter, uh, he acts like he doesn't know uh, uh, acts like he doesn't know who Bathsheba was. You know, all ever all the begots and who begot and who got and, and who begot. Verse number six of chapter number one, uh, Je uh, Matthew says, uh, and Jesse begot David the king, David the king begot Solomon by her, yeah, who her. had been the wife of Uriah, like he didn't know that yeah. woman's name. See, I'm done. telling you, y'all you gotta, you gotta, never saw that, did y'all? Mm -hmm. yeah, In chapter number one, he, mm -hmm. he, he doesn't even recognize Bathsheba, she, she's her. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for Bathsheba, because we don't know how God moves mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. he moves in various and mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. And when you look at that genealogy and uh, how things came about, uh, some of your family issues no different than Jesus. It was amen, a mess. amen. Yeah, that was messed up. Yeah, Jesus Though he is the son of God, one uh, born with no sin, mm. it didn't mean that his family wasn't messed up. Amen. Uh, all right, y'all y'all quiet. Y'all looking like Jesus didn't have a messed up family. <laughs> Matthew made sure you know he doesn't even call Bathsheba's name. Mm. Her. He called her her. <laughs> well, I love the Bible. They have so much stuff to do level of the playing field. But in Matthew chapter number 2 verses 7 and 8 says then Herod when he secretly called mm -hmm. see that's a mess right there Already secretly called the wise men determined uh, from them what time the star appeared mm -hmm. and he sent them to Bethlehem and said go search carefully don't just go looking Look. go search carefully when you search them carefully that means uh, intensely. Yeah. Yeah. Don't turn over every rock, every stone. Look, look under the pillows, look under the shades. You know, uh, look carefully mm -hmm. for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me. Now here goes the lie mm -hmm. that I may come and worship him also. Yeah. See how messy that is? Amen. First of all, he tells. His wise men secretly. Mm -hmm. Well, why is it a secret? Why does it got to be a secret? If, if, if this is something that you know is happening, why is it a secret? Mm -hmm. And then uh, 
He says, in secret, go search. Right. Why? How? Have anybody ever seen people rambling? Right. <laughs> Ain't no secret about you rambling. Amen. You moving stuff. You know, uh, uh, especially ladies. Y'all know how y'all lay certain things. And mothers. Careful, boy. And, and, and when they get disturbed, you know. And then you go, you go asking around the house. And mysteriously, ain't nobody seen nothing. Amen. Ain't nobody moved nothing. But God, but you know how you laid your personal thing. Now he gonna say go and 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 and, and look. Yeah. And then when you find them, bring back word to me. That I may come and worship him. Also, if it was that important, why don't you go yourself? Amen, amen. Uh oh, you the king, but you telling somebody else to go find something for you, and then you go come worship him after they find out. No, if it's that important to you, you go look as well. Amen, amen. All right, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Uh, I want to talk just for about uh, six minutes because the sandwich has got to be unloaded. Uh, the conspiracy <laughs> with all the king's men. Oh, good one. Conspiracy with all the king's men. Father, we thank you today for this time in Jesus' name. The climate and the temperature of Israel in that time with Rome was very dysfunctional. <laughs> It was very difficult and it was very disillusioned because there was so much going on, just like today. Amen. A whole lot of stuff going on. Amen. During the time there was Israel or the Jews under Roman authority, even though they had leadership, supposedly, mm. the Pharisees. Sadducees and Herodians. All these were religious factors that all claimed a piece of the Jews in order to say uh, that they were godly, but yet they submitted themselves to Roman authority. The Bible says you can't serve two masters. Just can't do it. You love one or they hate the other. Because it's difficult splitting your love in more than one direction. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Stevie Wonder had a song out some years ago called Part Time Love. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what do I do? And one of the lyrical contents in there. Uh, says that if you see me walking down the street, we go past each other as though we never met. <laughs> you know, Part-time lover. But then you want to call, as Lady Billy Paul said, uh, meet at the same place at the same time, yes. me and Miss Jones. <laughs> I don't know why y'all act like y'all never heard of Some of y'all, maybe it's a flashback. I apologize if you remember who it was and what was going on. And please excuse me uh, for having picked that old wound. Amen. Uh, <laughs> but Solomon says this. He says, there's nothing new under the sun. Yes, yes. Nothing. What what you see now is nothing new. It's just that it's done a different way. Yes. And now it's more in your face. There, there was a time people were discreet about the stuff that they were doing, but now everything is open. Yes. Nobody cares. You saw them. You saw what they did. You heard what they did. But now, you know, especially with social media, you have to be very careful because everything in real time. You can, you can get picked up and it hit uh, social media in, in 12 to 14 seconds. Amen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you can't, you, can't, you can't afford, as it were, to be uh, without some level of discretion. Here it is. This king, Herod, was wicked. 
Amen. He was an evil and a very manipulative king. Hmm. Kind of remind me of somebody I know, sis. <laughs> up there at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. Herod was a kind of king that was egocentric, uh -huh. pretty much narcissistic, wanted all attention on him. Yeah, yeah. And remind you of somebody who gets up every morning and for the crack of dawn and tweeting. Instead of, <laughs> instead, instead of seeing about the affairs of this country, he tweet. Amen. Amen. Instead of him uh, <laughs> governing this country, he tweet. <laughs> if, if he spent more time right there. dealing with yeah. the complexities of yeah. this country, yeah. the yeah. racial yeah. Economic and social divide, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have time to tweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's got a cabinet of men, right? That a bunch of yes men that would allow and have allowed him Amen. to do whatever he wants to do. Oh, yeah, by the way, he did get impeached this week. Amen. But you have two factors. You got the House, yeah. you got the Senate. Yeah. Yeah. And the Senate is trying to disprove yeah. Yeah. all of the allegations that I don't understand how they can do that. It's yeah. been clear and crystal clear okay. of the manipulation, the yeah. lies, the deceit, and all the things this man has done, yeah. but yet all of his men. Yeah. Yeah. Refuse yes. to acknowledge yes. how wicked this man is. Amen. Amen. Very interesting. Very interesting. And I was even shocked at the news from the evangelical, one factor of the evangelicals. Because you know the evangelicals, uh, when it came, when it comes to this president, is so merciful. Yes. Yes. And they're so forgiving yes. that when President Obama had on a tan suit, a tan suit, <laughs> they just about lost their mind. <laughs> Over a tan suit? A suit when you got a man that has corrupted this government yes. Yes. and has yes. caused so much. external governments Ooh. to interfere with our democracy. Yeah, but yeah, they didn't yeah. see that as being, oh, we need to forgive him, yeah, we need right. to pray for him. Yeah, you you right. should have been praying for him before he got in there, because yeah, you knew he, yeah, he, was, yeah. he was a rogue yeah. and, 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 and he was he was he was ruthless before he got in. So after the impeachment, then one set of the evangelicals have now come out and said that. The impeachment is correct because of all of the things he been doing. Well, he yeah. been doing it. Y'all sat yeah. there and watched him. Yeah. yeah. The same thing that was going on Jesus' birth. Yes. Yeah. Herod was corrupt. Yeah. yeah. His men were corrupt. Yeah. Yeah. The government of Rome was corrupt. Yeah. Yeah. They put heavy taxes on the Jews. Yeah. Yeah. While yet themselves not being taxed. Yeah, right, Sound right. like somebody I know. <laughs> the, the percent. Yeah. One percent. Huh. Don't get taxed. How in the world hmm. are we supporting a corporation yeah. that is not being taxed? Yeah. Amazon. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Making billions of dollars yeah. off of us but not paying one cent of tax. Hmm. Hmm. Same thing in Rome. Yes. They were taxing the Jews. Yes, Lord. And the Pharisees and Sadducees and the Rodians went along with the program because we don't want no trouble. Every now and then, yes, yes. there needs to be somebody that's not afraid to stir the pot up and make some problems. Yes, 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 yes. The deceitfulness and wickedness of heart from this leadership, men and women of high stature and regard has intensified yeah. the purpose, plan, and position of these 
who search and have sworn by oath to protect the integrity of the law and uphold the rights of the people have been clouded by lies and greed. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So now, such a time as this, in the birth of Christ, it was corrupt leadership, the religious in, uh, indifferences and the pressures and the lies and all that led to poverty and economic inequality. Yeah. Amen, amen. Sound like where we are today. Amen. Those people that have want more. Yeah. The people that need get less. That's right. That's right. Says it in the Bible, it said to them that has will take from them that have not, and them that have not. They'll even lose those that have little. That will also be taken away. Look at everything that has been taken away from us. And they're continuing to try to take away. They want to take away health care, the one that we thought we could have. They came in and undid that. They're trying to take away and have done it and made a law that they, in, in 2021, they're going to remove food stamps. Well, where do people go eat? One of the worst things that I ever see is working at some of these venues. They throw away more food yeah. than yeah. they sell. Yeah. And then you would think that there would be somebody that would be able to grab it and, and say, hey, we can take this and give it to people that need. And I've seen people that are in high position go right behind the people that was trying to gather the food and snatch it from them and throw it in the trash can right in front of their face and look at it as if to say, I dare you. Wow. Where are the real people that are going to stand up against this tyranny? Yeah, yeah. Where are the real people that are going to stand up and say, enough is enough? Where are the real people? Now, this is when it comes to us, the church. The church has been asleep. Yes, yes. It has laid dormant. Yes, yes. It has just watched all this go by and never ever raising it out. We complain in yes. private, but are many mouthed in public. Yes. You got to be able to stand up and say this is the rights of the people of God because, sure enough, just because it hasn't happened, don't think it ain't coming our way. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't think don't yeah. think for one minute it's not coming our way. That's why it's more than ever time to pray. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had a witness in here now. I mean, it's really showing up time to pray. I'm not talking about now laying me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep if I should die before I wake up. Pray the Lord my soul to take. It's time now to get down on our knees and start talking to God. Like uh, the prophet said in uh, verse, uh, 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 Chronicles, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then we will have a We are responsible for doing some stuff. We got to start praying. Yeah. That's the first thing. Get back in contact with God. Yeah. And then after the prayer, we got to do some stuff within us. Yeah. And don't stop pointing the finger at somebody else. When it's me, it's me, oh Lord. I need to turn from my wicked ways. There's some stuff that we've done in secret, but there's an all-seeing God that sits high and looks low. His eyes are beholding the good and the evil running to and fro throughout the whole earth. So we got to do some stuff ourselves. We got we to gotta repent. That's what the church needs to do. We need to go back to God and tell God we're sorry. We're sorry for having sat down on a stool of do-nothingness and watching the world go crazy. And then we want to blame somebody else when we have a responsibility as well as some power. Look at your name and say, you got some power. You don't know the power you have, but you got some power. That same Deutimus power. That Deutimus power meaning dynamite. You ought to be able to tell somebody, you better be careful how you handle me. Because I'm subject to blow up right in your face. You got the power to turn the world upside down. For he said, but 
there two or three gathered in his name, he would be in the midst. You got the power to look at a situation and tell that situation that God said, not I said, but God said, be thou renewed. You got the power to tell the devil to get out of your house. Get out of your job. Get out of your body. You got the power to tell the devil. For God I live and for God I die. But you gotta get up now and make up in your mind. I'm not gonna be like everybody else. And if he's walking by myself. I'm willing to walk with Jesus rather than walking with a crowd because a crowd will change your mind like you did with Moses. It was a crowd that got a whole tribe swallowed up because they wouldn't follow God. It's time for the church to start following God. Read your Bible, but not just read it. Start studying. Study to show yourself approved unto God, not unto no man, not unto no religion, not unto no organization, but approved unto God, which is your reasonable service. Do not have to run. Remember, God called you, and He called you, and He called you, and He called you to be a servant unto Him. But you can't be like those men that listen to King Herod. And I'm so glad. I said I'm so glad they didn't take him the message back because he was trying to kill the king. to hear from God, because when God heard what Herod was going to do, he told Joseph and Mary, take my son and go down to Egypt, thus fulfilling the prophecy, my son that comes out of Egypt, and he hid Jesus until Herod died, but I'll tell you right now, don't you worry, and don't you fret, for the said, let not thyself because of evildoers and be not in this against the workers of iniquity. For in due time, I said the D-U-E time, God's going to cut them off. I'm not worried about all 45 because the Bible told me that the heart of the king is in the hand of God. And if God squeezes Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty. 
can do anything but fail. He can do anything but fail. Harry thought he had an inside track of trying to get rid of Jesus. There are people that think they got the inside track of trying to get rid of you. But God knows how to hide you. I wish I had a witness here today. He knows how to hide you right in front of your people. And then he will tell you like this, God prepare us a table before we in the presence of my enemies. He'll have you have a banquet and tell your enemies, come on in and sit down. I'm going to eat right in front of you. What you thought for evil, God made it for good. So don't get mad when people are angry at you. Baby, you know why they're mad at you? Because they see the anointing in your life. And they don't have it. Yeah. And they wish they had what you had, but they don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. God has brought you through and they stand up there wondering, how did you make it? It wasn't because of you. Yeah. Yeah. It was because of the grace and the mercies of God. Yeah. Yeah. God bless you today. Yeah. Yeah. I do apologize. I wish I, had, I wish I could say it like I felt it. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I'll tell you what I saw. I saw that passage, boy, I tell you, yeah, I like secret that. folks. Yeah, yeah. Ah, secret folks. Yeah. You know, folks that are always looking to see what you got. Secret yeah. folks. Yeah. Yeah. And then want to go back and tell your enemies what you got. Yeah. And then the enemy lies and said, oh, tell me, tell me where he lives. Yeah. You got a new house. Yeah. You got a new dwelling place. You better be yeah. careful who you let in your house. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody ain't happy for you. Yeah. 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 You get a new car. Yeah. Be careful who you let ride in it. Yeah. Yeah. You got some haters and jealous folk. Yeah. Yeah. They want to get in your car and look and touch all the upholstery and smell the new car smell. And then want to ask you a question. How can you afford it? You ride in it. Don't worry about it. Oh, hey, to see you in a new pair of shoes. How did they get yes. some new shoes? You didn't buy it, don't worry about it. Yeah. 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 Who they think they are? Got that new dress. Boy, it's right, it's, right, it's right interesting that you know what's all in my closet. Yeah, yeah. 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 stuff ain't, oh, it ain't new. It's been sitting back there for a long yeah. time. Yeah. It's time to bring it out. Yeah. It was my choice to put it on, and I put it on, and now you want to be got your jaws on tight, you swole up like a puppet fish. Dress on. Well, go down to Macy's and buy you one. Hello, you go to Macy's and Nordstrom and buy you one, then we'll both have a new dress. All right? And even if they did, they still wouldn't be happy. There are some people that misery loves company. But I refuse to be in everybody's people. Right, right, right. I can't do it. Yeah. I just can't do it. Yeah. Life is too short. Yeah. Too much to do. Yeah. In the yeah. kingdom, to worry about somebody what they got. and what they got. Yeah. Yeah. I, used to, I used to tell people, man, did you see something good? Yeah. Well, they got to do so what? Well, how do they do it? Listen, I don't care because number one, it ain't my own. It's not my own. And I tell you what, if they give me an opportunity to ride and they take me somewhere, I'm going to give them some money for some gas and tell them to keep riding on. But I don't want to be in their car. I don't want to be in their brand new car. And, they, and, and the needle on the on the gas is saying the prayers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? They say the prayers. And if it's on the other side, and the night is on. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at everybody going. I mean, if I get, if I have the opportunity to get your car, I'll let you know right now. One of the first things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look over that gas tank.
cars that got heavier, and, and, and they always tend to run out of gas when there's a hit time. Why don't they run out of gas so we can just roll down the hill? I can't push nothing up the hill no more. Triple A, Triple A, somebody call Triple A. Triple A plus. You get more mileage in case you break down. If we break down way out on the highway, Triple A plus will take us all the way in and go charge us. See, that's why I love Jesus, because he's better than Triple A. He knows where I am and he watches out before I get to where I gotta go and tells me, don't go that way. Have you ever had that? Have you ever had that feeling when you're driving and you get something that said, don't go that way? And you turn, that wasn't you. That was God watching over you. And you turn, and then you come to find out that there was a bad accident. Because God was watching over you. Could have been you right there. Could have been right there. The Especially nowadays with these crazy driving. From, I've never seen so many cars lining in people's houses. And they're not going in the driveway, and they don't belong there. Turn upside down, all sideways. I'm like, how in, how in the world did it even get up that high in somebody's house? God watches over us. He watches over us. Even when you don't think. Like when you said, I have that certain feeling, that's that God in you. It's giving you direction. See, sometimes the danger is up the road. The devil does not like us. I'll say that again. The devil don't like us. So his whole job is to kill, steal, and destroy. But then Jesus comes back and says, but I'll come. That you might have life and not just life, but abundant life. Meaning more than what you could ask or even think. I want to give you the best. So watch your conspirators. Watch them. Watch them. Don't act like they ain't there. Some of them in your own house. Watch them. I never seen, never seen so many. Listen to the news every morning. Somebody in the family is killing some. That that poor young man was a groom died on his wedding day by a family member. Even at his Reception, his family member wasn't happy with him. Wow. And killed him. Everybody that grins on your face ain't happy. Everybody that pat you on the back ain't glad for you. There are conspirators out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why some stuff that you get it ain't good. Keep it to yourself. And when they see it, just tell them, the Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, the Lord is blessing me right now. You know. Tell them how you got it. Just tell them. The Lord is blessing you. Right now.
intellectual word, amen. Yeah. Approved word, amen. Yeah. A right now word, amen. Yeah. Huh? But time such as this, amen. Oh, thank God for our message and thank God for the messenger, amen. Yeah.